My name is Dr. Marwa Hassan. I'm with the uh, Department of Construction Management here at LSU. I'm the graduate coordinator of the department. I'm also an associate editor for three national journals. One of them is ASCE Journal of Construction Engineering and Management. I came to LSU because LSU is a, a research one institution, and it allowed me to uh, introduce a new area of research that is very unique nationwide. It is nanotechnology in construction. This area of research has taken off more in Europe and South America than it, than it has done in the US. So I'm hoping working with my research team that we, we, we would be able to put LSU on the map with this vital area of research. <laughs> nanotechnology seems like a buzzword, right? But it really isn't. It's anything that is a very small scale of measurements. What we are trying to do is integrate different materials that are very small, nano-sized, in current uh, civil and construction applications to enhance performance, durability, long-term performance, uh, sustainability, environmental performance. We are trying to integrate sustainability in a lot of we do in terms of teaching as well as research. And hopefully, if we keep at this same line of work, we would be leading the nation in some of these areas. One very simple project that we're currently using involves recycling of glass collets in roof shingles. Roof shingles are usually dark in col color and they absorb a lot of the heat, in increasing what we call urban heat island effect, increasing pretty much the consumer's energy bills by up to 15%. What if we can create a new generation of shingles that are reflecting more heat, have high solar reflectance index SRI, so that your energy bill would actually drop down? And we were able to do that. We just applied for a, a provisional patent. And hopefully this is going to be a product that we can commercialize in the future. One other major project that we are currently working on is called self-healing concrete. So what is self-healing concrete? You have white blood cells in your body, right? You get a cut, the white blood cells will flow in the bloodstream to where the cut is, block the flow of blood, and then your skin starts to heal. Can we create bridges, concrete structures, buildings that can do the same? That's self-healing concrete. So when the concrete starts to crack because of load, I have something inside the concrete called a, a microcapsule. It is similar to a white blood cell. It has a shell and it has a liquid inside. The liquid inside is called the healing agent. When you break the shell, the, the liquid comes out. It starts reacting with something inside the concrete and creates solid, closing the crack. So the cr concrete heals itself. And what we are doing that's extremely innovative is one, we can put epoxies, but epoxies are expensive. Can we do it in a cost-effective manner? So now we're putting chemicals that are cheap, like uh, sodium silicate or calcium nitrate, inside the concrete. So when, when the shell breaks and these things come out, they react with the hydroxide ions in the concrete. That's a natural compound that's present, producing what we call CSH, which is short fibers that make concrete. We are healing concrete with concrete.